To 25 grams of cocoa, add three tablespoons of boiling water. Aim to get a paste, a bit like soft butter, you would spread it across. There it is. Then add two eggs, 100 grams of caster sugar, 100 grams of self-raising flour, and a level teaspoon of baking powder. Don't make it heaped, it must be level, because if you put too much in, it'll rise up and fall down again. And lastly, uh, 100 grams of baking spread. Spoon the mixture into a greased tin lined with non-stick baking parchment. Chocolate goes so well at Christmas time. I think we're just one of those times when we can be indulgent. It only needs 25 minutes in the oven at 160 fan. When it starts to shrink away from the sides of the tin, it's done. To make it extra special, a little brandy over the top, about two tablespoons. A bit difficult to know where you've been when it's a chocolate cake, but I think I'm remembering. There we are, and that for luck. Right, now to the chocolate mousse topping. Slowly melt 300 grams of chocolate. I find using 50% cocoa solids is best. It adds just the right amount of sweetness. While the chocolate cools, whisk 450 mils of whipping cream until frothy. Fold that in and you get the easiest and quickest chocolate mousse. And it's still a lovely frothy mixture. I'm going to put that on top of the sponge now. I'm going to chill it overnight in the fridge. That will firm it up and then turn it out. A little sieve cocoa over the top makes a professional finish. It's the sort of thing that William would have done with his bouche de Noël. And I think that really is quite a sort of showstopper, isn't it? Everybody will go ooh and ah when you walk in with that, and they won't know how long it took you to make. Not too long. And then a little sieved icing sugar makes it even more special.